What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we got a very good one planned for you. That's right. We're going on the dark side. That's right. Or shall I say the parallel side. That's right. We're going to be looking at the V7 parallel edition by Orbit Brown and the Orbit deck. So without further ado, buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. And let's go. The Orbit V7 Parallel Edition is its own almost standalone deck and it's still tied in to the V7s. Well during the V7 process Daniel and Chris kind of were looking at a final render of the V7 box. He was so blown away at how 80s it looked that he looked at his wife Holly and they said yep this should be its own deck. So they thought about it for a while and it just made almost too much sense not to do. Chris knew that the parallel concept had to be used at some point, which is why they dubbed it the Parallel Edition. So him and Daniel went hard to work and adjusted it so it made sense as a back design. So after a lot of work and a lot of details and back and forth and whatnot, Chris and Daniel and the rest of the team finally came up to this interesting concept and design to where it's kind of inside out. So the outside of this box is the inside of the V7s and vice versa. The matte tuck box is used again, which is something that Orbit's been using a lot lately, which is really nice and soft to the touch. It's gonna have that cigar band with Orbit there along the center, the iconic logo behind it in a kind of baby blue and darker blue hue to make it pop without disappearing in transparency. You're gonna also see the Orbit logo repeat itself as well as some spaceships and things and some concentric shapes and whatnot there. You're gonna have the purples and stuff that kind of come from that same 80s theme at the same time from the V7s. You're gonna have a medium style border that wraps all the way around the entirety of the box with that same minimal blue pencil thin border also. The left side of the tuck box is going to feature some ad copy about the Orbit Brown. The right side is going to say V7 Parallel Edition. The back of the tuck box itself is going to be almost the back design of the deck which we'll get to here momentarily. The bottom of the tuck features that same kind of wraparound look there, almost infinity style, but not. It's going to have the Orbit logo that we see on the underside of almost every deck and that familiar DeLorean going through. The top of the tuck box is going to feature the number 32, as you know, is usually a 23. Hence the name Parallel, Inside Out, Opposite, things like that. Kind of cool how they went with that same kind of theme. The tuck seal on this deck is going to be a all dark blue seal. And it's going to have that kind of baby bluish color there as the logo. The inner part of the flap is going to be similar to all of them and the V7s where it says the deeper you gaze into the cosmos the harder it is to look back and then persist and endure. The inner part of the tuck flap as you're going to see is going to look kind of familiar. Like I said this is almost that same kind of flip flop theme so you're going to see the 23 there that was on the V7s. And we'll get more to that here in a second. But you're going to see the inner or outer part, whichever you consider it, on the top of the flap. That's kind of reverse, which was also seen on the V7s. You're starting to catch it. It's going to say persistent indoor and the same thing as far as the cosmos and whatnot. It's going to have the orbit deck there. And at the orbit deck, their handle on Instagram. And I'll link all that below at the end as well. 
the left and right flaps are going to be the left one is the 3D glasses. The right is that same kind of satellite. And then if you open them on the inner side, they flip flop. So the glasses on the right and the satellite is on the left. Upon looking in the inside of the tuck box, you're going to see a lot of familiarities because Wait a minute, did they glue this backwards? No, this is the parallel editions, remember? So like I said, the outside of the V7s is pretty much the inside of this one. You're gonna see the same logo there on the bottom part where you're gonna see that rainbow style orbit logo. You're also gonna see the actual front of the V7s there on the inside, as well as the back design on the other side. This is a really cool idea and I hope that Chris continues to do it. The back design of the deck itself is gonna be really cool. Like I said earlier, it's gonna be that kind of inner part of the tuck flap that makes up the design. The minimal white poker border that goes along the side. Also that really pencil thin blue border that kind of goes alongside of it. You're gonna have the 80s style kind of fonts that say Orbit on the back kind of the uh, almost reminiscent uh, Save by the Bell kind of triangles there on the back. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll appreciate that. It's going to have the Orbit logo circle there in the center in blue and white. And this is a one-way back design. This deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their crushed premium stock. That's right, it does have a traditional cut as well as an air cushion emboss. And this is a limited edition run of only 5,000 decks. All right, so with this deck, you're gonna receive some awesome cards. That's right, the first one is gonna be a double backer. That's right, but it's not your typical double backer. No, it's not. That's right, this double backer is gonna have usually what's supposed to be the back design on the front and back. But this time around, you get the back design on one side and the back design of the V7s on the other. So if you have both decks, you can definitely appreciate the card. The next card is going to be a duplicate eight of spades. That's right, because who doesn't like or appreciate a duplicate, am I right? The last but not least two cards you're going to get are your Jokers. That's right. Like I said before, these are the iconic Jokers that I really know and love. And I look forward to them every single time. This time around, it's going to say Joker there above on top. And well, Chris is gone. That's right. Usually the astronaut Chris is on here, but he's not anywhere to be found. Instead, you have Dexter, that's right, his companion, riding on the bicycle with his space helmet ready to go. And on the rock, where it usually says 23, now says 32, with Daniel Snyder's signature to the right. The pips and indices in this deck are the same. If you watch my V7 review, I talked about this in detail. That's right, it's going to have the older style uh, Arco package from the 70s and early 80s that is no longer even in USPC's uh, archives. That's going to, you know, kind of feature those really nice pencil thin but clean uh, indices as well as the expanded pips. Also, like I said, upon closer inspection, the V7s had more pinkish color pips and indices and quartz and whatnot, but the pips and indices here are more of a purple when it comes to the diamonds and hearts. The blacks are pretty much still black as far as the spades and the clubs, and that's it for the number cards. The quartz in this deck are pretty much the exact same as the V7s, that same kind of classic Arco style, stripping it down and replacing the or, or the yellows and blues and blacks with those purples, pinks and whatnot. You're gonna have a few extra faces like we did in the V7s. You're gonna have the King of Hearts, which is Chris's dad there. You're gonna have his mentor in magic, the Mr. John Bodine. You're gonna have his childhood best friend's mom, Nancy, and her husband, Big Matt. You're gonna also have his beautiful wife, Holly, there as the Queen of Diamonds, using a yo-yo. 
You're going to have Nick Stumphauser as the Jack of Clubs. You're going to have Daniel Snyder as the Jack of Spades. You're going to have Sean O as the Jack of Hearts, saying Sean O on his chest with the Two of Heart reveal and his feather pen. And then last, you're going to have Chris Orbit Brown as the Jack of Diamonds. The aces in this deck are pretty much exactly the same also until we get over to the awesome ace of spades. That's right, it's going to have that enlarged spade pip there in the center and it's going to have Dexter all by his lonesome this time sitting there with the NASA helmet on kind of staring off into the solar system there on the moon looking at what once again looks to be Saturn. That's right, but they kind of flip-flopped it. The one on the V7s, I believe, had the blue kind of uh, planet with the pinkish uh, ring around it. It's going to say Persist and Endure the Orbit deck, Orbit.AF this time. Instead of 23, it says 32, which is kind of flowing with the same theme. And that's it for the deck. All right, so you want to know my final thoughts and what I think about this deck. I give it a four out of five. That's right, four out of five. Why? I don't know, it's just awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, four to five. So, let me just start by saying, this is an amazing deck of cards. Also, one of the biggest things for me, and I'm sure that there's people out there that are just like me, in the sense of, you're not really a fan of one-way back designs. Well, let me just go ahead and reassure you and put this to rest now, is that this is not your typical one-way back design. That's right. It's near the center of the deck here. So you don't get to really see that, uh, especially when you're doing flourishes, not flourishes, but more so like spreads and things like that, right? That's where my disconnect is when it comes to one way back designs. There's that spread moment and you can see the cards that are just, it's chaos, right? It's like, I'm not doing a Trump routine. So <laughs> what do we got here? Um, so that's the reason why I have such an issue with one-way back designs. Like I said, it's not necessarily the deck's issue. It's just what it is. But like I said, I don't have that issue with this deck. And that's the one thing that I like about it. And I can really appreciate and get behind. Because that was my biggest fear coming into this. When they said one-way back design, I said, oh man. Now, you know, if you've been following Orbit, you know they, there's a, they're all the back designs are technically one-way back designs, right? Um, you gotta find them, it's that intricate, but you get what I'm saying. So when they said that at first, I was kinda like, oh, well it's just like every other orbit. They say it's a one way back design, which technically it is, but you know, to look at it, it's really a two way mirrored. And then I looked and I said, no. And then I got it and I said, oh. And then I said, oh. So that's what happened. So long story short, the gist of it is, it's an amazing deck of cards. I really like the way that they did the inside out type of thing. It really reminds me of like Stranger Things, if you guys watch Stranger Things, kind of like that dark, you know, or whatever they call it. Really like that. Um, it's just, it's awesome. I really get behind it. Um, or even the movie Interstellar. If you've seen the movie Interstellar, how he's kind of like on the other parallel side and it, it's just awesome. You gotta check it out. Great movie, has got Matthew McConaughey, but whatever. Um, so, like I said, amazing deck of cards. There weren't as many of these printed as the V7s, so make sure you guys go and check these out, as well as the V7s and anything that Orbit rele uh, releases, because it's awesome. Let's just face it. Um, so, yeah. So, that's all I can say about this deck of cards. Like I said, I'll link everything down below where you guys can go and check these out. If you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people on the next one.